There was a question too about cefepine. I like this drug because we use it all the time, whenever um, the another name you see, if they give you, I don't think they will use this name, mesopine, but it's a very good drug. It's a beta lactam drug. So this is like a called penicillin derivative. Why? Because our standard medication we all know is what? Penicillin which is good for gram-positive drugs. Hey, but bacteria mutate, they get bigger, they get stronger, they develop asthmas. They want to fight you and they want to like kill you. Okay, that's their job. They want to keep on multiplying, make you sick. And therefore we got to also have asthmas on our, so they develop different, the same bacteria which penicillin war that it attacked. Sometimes they just have to add a little protein here. And it changes. Penicillin would come and say, Ooh, I can't see where I got to bind. Yeah, because of a little spot here. It will develop another tiny stuff here. And then, so that's what they're doing. So, we too, we have more medication. We develop more medication to take care of this mutation. And so, for cefepine, is a fourth generation. Okay, is what is the right word? Yeah. It's like a great, 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 I don't know what you call it, or grandson of penicillin. So it's a fourth generation and cephalosporin, basically, or penicillin derivative. And that is what um, it's going to do. And it's very strong medication. Um, so um, to be able to take care of any big lactamant that is um, Basically, it increases sensitivity and it broadens its spectrum. That is a, I'm, I'm not trying to use too much words because it's come. So, spectrum is broadened so that it can, it can attack like pseudomonas. Okay. These are bad infections. Okay. It can attack these drugs, uh, bacteria. So, that's why we use them. It broadens the, the spectrum of that. So, that's that medication. So, it has both a gram um, positive and negative effect, okay? It comes in only IV form. If you see in your test, um, it's okay to use it in a pregnancy. I think they like asking this medication with pregnancy, so that's why I want to give it to you. Um, but you can use it for like skin infection, severe intra-abdominal infection, pneumonia from, uh, um, Pseudomonas, okay, intra abdominal. It's hard to type talking intra abdominal infection and pneumonia, right? What is the something I want you, I don't want you to forget, okay, side effect. There's a neurotoxic, it's neurotoxic. There's other side effect and nephrotoxic. You should not forget these two. Okay. So if you give it to somebody with dizzy, having no um, neurological issue, yeah, you got to stop it. But nephrotoxic is bad. So it's going to increase your creatinine. So you got to check the kidney function. It also can increase your INR. So anybody taking Coumadin, cannot take uh, cefepin. If you have kidney problem, you cannot take it. Your neurological, you got to watch it. But apart from that, it has any other side effect like penicillin. So that, that's why I don't want you to memorize, but these three, INR, creatinine, and ne nephrotoxic, but any side effect of uh, penicillin, which you know is hypersensitivity. Every penicillin, you know, you can have allergic reaction, you can have GI symptoms, non-specific nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, um, yeah. And they can also develop C. diff because of changing the bacteria. So those are the things you have to worry about this drug. Lastly, this, don't forget, any bacteria vaccine, live bacteria vaccine, you can get it. I think the common one is typhoid. So this should not get a typhoid vaccine. 
you make them sick. So they need to tell their doctor that they've received cefepine, therefore they can't get this. But this is um, all that I can tell you. Testable key fact. This one, don't forget it. Iona, nephrotoxic, and and neurotoxic in this one. But it's a penicillin. So if patient is allergic to penicillin, yeah, you cannot get this medication. But you can give it to you when you're pregnant. Yeah, so a patient with um, who, who receives cefepin cannot get typhoid uh, vaccine, which is a live bacteria vaccine. So they cannot get it. They have to wait at least six months to get it. And I'm saying um, cefepin is different from, it's not the same as um, cefepin. It's not the same. Yeah, in in Anclase, you use electric razor. Yeah, no, no, it depends if the patient is on um, Coumadin, right? Yeah, you got to use electric razor. It's not always the same. My friend had a full case study on Cefepin. Yeah, yeah. So this is all the things that you know I can remember. I don't see. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure about autotoxicity, but I know it's nephrotoxic, 100 percent. And we worry more about nephrotoxic, so it affect the kidney. It has neurotoxic, and then it affect your ionar. But I don't know about um, autotoxicity. This uh, it's not aminoglycosylate, so it's not the same. Yeah, it's not aminoglycosylate. Yeah, those are the ones that affect the common. Um, cause of autotoxicity. I'm just answering some questions. Um, okay. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah, but this is everything. I I mean, I know what class of drug, what is used for, gram positive, gram negative, the side effect, uh, and what you need to teach the patient. Um, I, I have to see a question where they're asking and they can, I can explain it to you. Okay.